But anyway, so it's uh, leaking at the top up there, right? Yeah. Came down that side, across the back, leaked up here, right at the foot. Come on down through up there. The paneling down here, you just about stick your finger. And that's because of the uh, the well, ladder. Yeah. So overall, that's that's what's in effect seven to nine thousand dollars. Well, you, it's, you're doing a whole floor. Right. You're doing the whole front. You're doing the whole back. And from what I'm what from what I'm seeing, you're going to change the, the the rim board all the way around the trailer. Yeah. Here's the problem. The entire trailer was rotted away in seven years. This was the Northwest Edition, designed for the rainy Northwest weather. It is designed and intended to be outdoors, in the weather, and exposed to all the elements on a continuous basis. Skyline, the maker of the 2002 Layton trailer, will tell you it was due to lack of maintenance. I should tell you something about myself. I have an undergraduate degree in industrial technology master's in business administration, was recognized by the state of California as a quality assurance engineer, an inspector in the construction of a nuclear power plant, a CPA and an auditor. I don't know about trailers, but I do know about materials, statistics, and quality control. I inspected the trailer regularly and could not find problems that needed correction. There are absolutely no visible leaks in the interior, no smells of mold, no signs of mold. There was an electric heater placed in the trailer at all times when stored and set at a low temperature to keep the inside humidity low. I placed Drysic containers in the trailer and replaced the chemical in the wintertime. The trailer was maintained at the level it was constructed. But I know that if the product is designed to be a good product, there will be exceptions, errors, or mistakes. But those will be rare and infrequent. You notice that that in this trailer, at every point there could be a problem, there was a problem. The only way that can happen is by intentionally poor design. That combined with complete lack of sealant, substandard materials guarantee this trailer will rot. Look at my deck. It's been outside directly in the weather for 22 years. There is no rot and it's structurally sound. It may last another 20 years. I fell some trees in my yard and used them directly in the wet ground as a border for, rose, for the rose garden. They took 20 years to rot in the very worst possible circumstance. But this trailer completely rotted in seven years. That can only occur by the intention of Skyline to design and construct a product that will fall apart some very short time after the warranty period. Skyline never even offered to inspect the trailer to understand how their product is standing up. They don't care. I don't think you can expect any better result than I've had, so buyer beware.